a very good evening uh, to you all uh, dear brothers uh, and sisters in christ uh, we thank uh, our lord uh, for giving it another opportunity uh, so today we're going to see one of the important classes uh, and uh, that is uh, about the seed of the woman so if you see in the bible the bible has uh, 66 books and the first book uh, is the book of uh, Genesis. Well, the last book is the book of uh, Revelation. In book of Genesis, what is given, if you see, the kingdom that was established by God in the Garden of Eden, it is given there. And how Adam lost the kingdom is given there. But if you see in the book of Revelation, how that same kingdom will be restored back to mankind through second Adam it is given in the book of uh, Revelation. So in between these two books uh, we see the divine plan of God. When Adam sinned God cast them out of the garden of Eden and told them cursed is the ground for thy sake and uh, in the sweat of thy bro thou shall uh, eat thy bread all the days of the life and uh, you shall uh, go to the dust for uh, from dust uh, thou art uh, formed and God also told that uh, for thy sake and because of you uh, the earth shall bring forth uh, thorns and thistles so hence if you see God uh, cast them out of uh, garden of Eden into the unfinished earth. So they were, have to work very hard, you see, and uh, with lot of difficulty, with lot of uh, sweat, you see, they both had to earn their food daily. But before casting them out of Eden, God gave them a assurance also. And that assurance is what we're going to read and study today that is given to us in Genesis 3.15. Can somebody read well? Genesis 3.15? Genesis 3.15 And I will put in mitty between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed it shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel. Okay. So here, uh, if you see, uh, he tells uh, that uh, God uh, made a promise uh, to Adam and Eve. You see, before uh, sending them out of uh, Garden of Eden, saying, between thy seed and uh, between the woman, I will put uh, an enmity and uh, the seed of the woman will bruise the serpent's head. So therefore, today we are going to see who is that uh, seed of woman, who is going to bruise the head of the serpent and what is the meaning of uh, it. Therefore, with uh, this uh, assurance, you see, God uh, cast them out of uh, Eden. Here, in verse 15, it says, I will put enmity between thee and the woman. So here, thee means whom, if you see, it actually represents the serpent. Why it actually represents the serpent, if you see? Because Satan used serpent as a tool to deceive Eve. Let us read with her. Genesis 3, 1. Genesis 3, 1. Joel, uh, okay, Anil, brother, read, please, please. Anil Magar, please read. Now the serpent yeah. was more full, subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord, Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Hey, yeah. The serpent was more subtle than all the beasts of the field, it seems. And this serpent came and spoke to Eve, it seems. Huh? Can serpent speak? Huh? Can serpent speak? Huh? 
some people tell no brother those days it was speaking now it is dumb ha huh? okay if serpent can speak what about other animals do they speak and none of the animals is to speak at but actually <laughs> this is a figurative language how like for example read genesis 410 brother anil magar can you read genesis 410 Okay, brother. Genesis four, mm. ten, mm. and he said, "What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground." Aha! Uh-huh. The voice of thy brother, the blood of thy brother, you see, cries from the ground. Can the blood cry? Huh? Does uh, blood have a voice? Tell me, does it have a voice? Yes or no? No. No, no. That is a figurative language where the injustice and the murder, innocent murder of Abel, his death is seeking justice from God. So similarly, here also, when it says that the serpent spoke, the serpent never spoke literally. Therefore, if you see, it says the serpent was subtle when compared to all the beast of the field. It seems. Therefore, you see, huh? Satan himself is very intelligent in the Bible. We read now; he is uh, so beautiful. He is one of the morning star. Huh? And uh, when he himself is so wise, uh, full of wisdom and perfection in beauty, you see, he chose. a proper tool to deceive he would not choose any other animals but he chose a very subtle very cunning very clever you see animal uh, to deceive him and that was the serpent okay why why did he choose serpent huh? why he choose serpent from the animals isn't it why you know huh? actually all these animals were like a servant to adam and eve if uh, you need to get any information from the anybody's house you know how to gather it we need to contact the servant if we contact the servants of the house the maid servants of the house we will come to know the entire picture what is going on inside the house therefore you see if any murder or theft happens in somebody's house immediately the police will catch all the, of the maid they will ask them why because they will be knowing some information which no other persons can know because they are in direct contact uh, with those persons similarly ha uh, satan you very well that uh, among all the servants uh, of uh, adam the serpent was the most subtle most cunning and most clever one therefore you see how is lucifer huh? he himself is full of wisdom perfect in beauty let us read genesis sorry ezekiel 2812 please read ezekiel 2812 anu magar can you read son of man take take up a lamentation upon the king of tyrus and say unto him thou said the lord god thou sealest up the sum full of wisdom and perfect in beauty mm. see it is actually told about king of tyrus but if you see the verse 13 and 14 it says thou has been in the garden of eden when did the king tyrus uh, be in eden <laughs> when adam and eve were cast out of eden so the cherub who was in eden is none other than uh, lucifer he is compared to king tyrus and uh, what is the description it is given uh, lucifer is full of wisdom it seems he is not a dumb a dumber any foolish person you see huh? he is one of the wisest of all the angels dear brethren the bible says that he is wiser than daniel and is so perfect in beauty that uh, if uh, lucifer or satan comes before anybody 
it doesn't come with the two horns uh, you see four uh, canine teeth uh, black red is burning eyes and uh, fire from his mouth or having a tail and black body or red body he comes like a beautiful angel anybody seeing him they will be totally shocked uh, and fall into his trap that is the way actually satan appears you see read second uh, corinthians 11:14 second corinthians 11:14 uh, uh, muna sister can you read and no marvel for satan himself is transformed into an angel of light hmm. you see how is satan transformed into an angel of light does he come like a devil Uh, shown in comic on uh, tv uh, only on tv no dear brother he is like a angel of light it seems uh, you see therefore in the bible he is called as the morning star last time we read no in why god permits evil class so lucifer that word lucifer itself means the morning star no what is the meaning of this morning star if you see if you see early in the morning in the sky planet jupiter appears bright in the sky so that bright you see that looks like a star is actually called as a morning star because that signifies the early creation of god okay but uh, is there any other morning star in the bible apart from lucifer jesus christ very good jesus christ is also called as a morning star let us read revelation 22 16 anil brother can you read I Jesus have sent a mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star ah the bright and morning star so Jesus is also the morning star but he is a bright morning star therefore in the bible there are two morning stars if there are two morning stars then that means both should be together at some time no So does the Bible say that they were together? Huh? Does the Bible say that they were together? The both morning stars were together. Is there any scripture saying that they were together? Hmm? Tell me. Tell me. Huh? Were they together? The both the morning yes. stars. Yes. Yes, they were together when when the foundation for the earth was laid. when adam and eve were created both were together read job 38 you see 6 and 7 job 38 6 and 7 joel brother can you read where upon are the foundation there thereof fastened or who laid the corner stone therefore when the morning star sang together all the son of god shouted for joy ah you see when the morning stars na star stars multiple that means two plural sang together when when the foundation for the earth was laid and all the sons of god shouted for joy seems that means all the angels uh, shouted for joy dear brethren that means lucifer was initially a good angel full of wisdom and perfect in beauty you see but when did he became the devil the adversity of god satan you see the brain huh? when uh, god had created adam god gave him the entire dominion of this earth you see let us read about that one in genesis 126 genesis 126 anu magar can you read and god said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have domi- dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over over all the earth and over every creeping things that creep upon the earth mm. you see he was made as a king of the earth to have dominion over everything just imagine the new creation they just now created but uh, since the creation itself the entire domain of this beautiful earth was given to whom 
it was not given to any of the morning stars to your friend, but it was given to just newly created Adam and Eve. They were made the king of this earth. And upon this lower creation, Lucifer was made as a protection angel, as a guardian angel. Read Ezekiel 28.14. Anil Budar, can you read Ezekiel 28.14? Thou art the anointed cherub that covered, and I have set thee, so thou was upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Ah, see, thou art the anointed cherub that covers. He is a eh? anointed cherub means what? Appointed by God. Covereth means father. Protection angel. It was like a guardian angel. God uh, sent him to earth uh, so that he may take care of Adam and Eve and entire mankind and uh, not that they may fall into sin. So watch upon them. But instead of watching, uh, dear brethren, uh, Lucifer thought uh, God had done a great mistake by giving the entire dominion to Adam, the newly created creation. And upon them, making Lucifer as a watchman was a very, very bad decision because Lucifer was a morning star. You see, along with Jesus, he could not humble from such a position to such a low position to be a watchman, dear brethren. He misunderstood God. You see, huh? it is like an example. Imagine if you are a manager of a company and uh, from tomorrow, if your boss comes and tells that you are not a manager but you have to work like a watchman, what will happen to us? As we daily see our boss entering and exiting, going and coming, immediately the evil thoughts will come inside our mind. He has done me so many things. I was so faithful. He has put me to such a low state. I should do something to him. Same thought came into the mind of Lucifer. That is the time that Lucifer became Satan. See, continue reading Isaiah 14 chapter. We read the 11th verse, no? Huh? Now continue reading Isaiah 14, 13 and 14. Uh, Joel, brother, can you read? Isaiah 14 chapter, 13 and 14. Can you read, brother? For thou hast said in, in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the con congregation in the sight of not. I will ascend above the high of the cloud, I will be like the most high. I will be like the most high. You see? I will be like God. The most high it seems. What is that? like most high? Means I will be equal to God. You see, that was his desire, dear brother. You see, he, told, he thought in his mind what God had done, the decision was a very wrong thing. And he thought, if I can somehow control Adam and Eve, Instead of them, I can be the king, uh, you see. And uh, he tried to deceive them and uh, make them to subdue to him so that he can rule over them. But then that is the time that he deceived uh, huh? Eve. How did he deceive Eve? Huh? Huh? How did he deceive Eve? Let us read that one. It's beautifully given. You see, Genesis 3rd chapter, brother. Genesis 3rd chapter, uh, verse... <clears throat> 1, verse 1, 2. Mm. Can somebody read? Uh, Munna sister or Romi sister? Anybody can read? Uh, 2. Or third chapter, verse 1 and 2. Now the serpent was more sub subtle uh, than any vast of the Field which the Lord God had made, and He said, "In on unto the woman, ye hath God said, ye shall not eat the eat of every tree of this garden." And the woman said to unto the serpent, "We may eat all the fruit of the tree, but of." The garden. Ah, you see, here it says 
the serpent came to men and spoke what did he spoke ha huh? yeah at god's head that you should not eat this tree ha huh? does the serpent speak ah did the serpent come and speak literally no brother this is not literal see it is like this one this is a figurative language remember the first class how to study the bible we seen the 10 steps of symbolic language figurative language ah huh? then what language ah parabolic language Oh, so everything is there, uh, direct language. So here, yeah, action speaks louder than voice. Like for example, imagine you are all sitting in the house. Suddenly, if a cockroach passes before everybody, what will happen? Immediately, seeing the cockroach, thoughts will generate in our mind. Automatically, it will generate. You see, some people will uh, immediately try to hit the cockroach. Some people will run away. Some people will think, "Oh, what is this cockroach coming now?" so thoughts is generate no see this is the power of the mind so similarly chetan was full of wisdom is very subtle you know is very wonderfully how to deceive everybody dear brethren how did he motivate you see in the bible if you see is there anywhere given that the chetan came no chetan did not come at all chetan is not there in the picture at all but how did he you see motivate you uh, to eat the fruit uh, it is through the serpent so what probably you would have done is that you would have motivated you to eat that fruit how uh, how this is a suggestion how is it possible that see satan would have made the serpent to eat the fruit uh, the serpent did not die and seeing this one automatically thoughts would have generated uh, in a uh, mind of eve she forgot uh, that god had never told animals not to eat the fruit god had told only to adam and eve to not to eat the fruit anybody can anybody else can eat even the angels if they wanted they can eat even if the animals they wanted they can eat but adam and eve was not supposed to eat you see no you see you see the beautiful uh, uh, reply of eve what did she tell read verse uh, uh, Three sister, was three sister. Please read. Anybody? Roshan Raju, can you read, brother? Can you read? Is it okay? Are you comfortable reading English? Okay. Somebody else can read. Anybody, sister or brother? Bought of the fruit of the tree which. is in the midst of the garden god had said ye shall not eat of it neither shall shall we yet touch it lest ye die see what did she reply she reply saying you shall not eat of it neither shall you touch eh? god told not to touch what did god say god told not to touch or not to eat what did god tell tell me not but, to eat not to eat but you can touch you want to play cricket play play catch catch no problem you do whatever you want but don't eat the fruit uh, see uh, that's the reason women they speak more uh, here only the mother eve uh, she is a mother of all no what to do all we are all daughters uh, so this is how satan immediately came to know the weakness of eve so immediately for this one he would have responded saying uh, uh, i know nothing will happen you will live who told you will die have you ever seen death and there is no death in the garden if you don't did anything die there is no death at all death that that word death itself was very shocking thing a very new thing nobody knew about that one even lucifer also did not know see he did not know about that one so as he told immediately he would have again reason then why did god told correct now why did god tell what is the purpose of god stopping me then he put the answer saying ayyo god fears that you should become like god that is the reason god is what is doing he is uh, you see huh uh, are stopping it uh, therefore with this thought uh, that she will become like a uh, god she was motivated to eat that uh, fruit dear brother if you see that is the first question in the world 
Till now, there is no question at all. This is the first question in the Bible itself. Now, how did that question come? It uh, came because of the serpent. Therefore, even the punctuation mark for a question mark is put in the form of a serpent hood. Why? Because, uh, huh? dear brethren, the question in this world came actually through the serpent. If you see any very old ancient Bible, you know, in this book of Genesis, the question mark is actually put in, serpent itself is put, like what photo you put on this way, the same serpent itself is put there, brethren. Anyway, but uh, as uh, uh, Eve was deceived and Adam was also deceived, they were cast out of the Eden. Thorns and thistle it shall bring. Imagine how comfortable they were in the Garden of Eden. Garden, beautiful paradise, dear brethren. But once they came out, they had to eat from the sweat of the bro. Thorns and thistle it shall come, it seems. Imagine how hard it would have been for Adam to work in out of Eden. You see, so many times, so many thorns would have, you see, uh, pricked his uh, feet, hands, uh, so much of, uh, you see, uh, pain. Uh, how many times he would have got hurt, uh, you see. But whenever uh, he got hurt, uh, you see, immediately he would have remembered the condition in Garden of Eden. He would have felt how oh, beautiful we were there. You simply waited to eat the fruit. Che. I heard her voice and simply ate the fruit. Che. I should not have eaten the fruit. You would have regretted so many times. And at that time, while working in the field, imagine if he saw a serpent, what would Adam do? He would pour out all his anger upon the serpent. He would go behind the serpent and try to kill the serpent. You see? But eh, the serpent Eh? This was the promise that God made. What did God say? Yeah, your seed shall bruise the head. It will, you see, bite the heel of the uh, your seed sweet. Correct, no? Uh, that's what the promise made, no? Then uh, Adam would have remembered, oh, that means uh, this is the meaning. Uh, that means it will bite my heel and I should smite the Head of the serpent. So, in the promise which God actually made in Genesis 3, chapter 14 and 15, there are two meanings. One is a literal meaning, another is a symbolic meaning. One literal meaning is that, <clears throat> you see, God told uh, to the serpent, Cursed uh, are you of all the beasts uh, and the cattle of this earth, you shall uh, move on thy belly and you shall eat the dust uh, in all the days of thy life. Let us read Genesis 3.14, brother. Genesis uh, 3.14. Genesis 3.14. Uh, Roshan, brother, can you read? Roshan, brother, is it possible for you to read? I will read, brother. Okay, please. 3.14. Hmm. And the Lord God said unto the serpent because thou hast done this thou art cast above all the cattle and above every beast of the field upon thy belly shalt thou go and dust shalt thou eat all the day of thy life ah, all the days of thy life so probably mostly because of uh, this uh, you say deception uh, serpent would have walked on the belly and uh, all the days of the life you shall eat the dust so what is the meaning of eating the dust you see actually eating the dust means uh, going to death you see in our language uh, in India when somebody dies no, uh, what do we put no? uh, when we are putting the body inside the grave we will tell everybody please everybody please everybody come and see the body for the Last time, then everybody will take a handful of uh, uh, mud or uh, sand or dust and uh, they would cast it on their face. Uh, uh, this is what God told actually. That means, uh, you see, cast the dust means, uh, you shall eat the dust means, you shall die. 
it is given in the bible also read mika 717 joel brother can you read mika 717 they shall lick the dust like a serpent they shall move out of their holes like women worms of the earth they shall be afraid of the lord our god and shall fear because of thee mm you see they shall lick uh, dust like the serpent man like like the serpent is they lick the dust in other words they will die that is the meaning of it they have then so so death uh, was uh, cursed uh, for serpent this is a little meaning but there is a symbolic meaning also as satan used the serpent to deceive it since then satan's tra trademark became the serpent therefore in the bible you read satan is compared to a serpent read revelation 22 revelation chapter 20 verse 2 gopal brother can you read sure brother revelation chapter 20 verse 2 and he laid hold on the dragon that old serpent which is the devil and satan and bound him a thousand years ah, the devil the serpent see the old serpent that was his term therefore in the bible serpent always signifies eh, satan okay so there are a lot of quotes in the bible so when we take the subject see all the quotes you please try to remember or else make a note of uh, all the symbolic meanings in the bible so there the serpent was made to walk on the belly similarly eh satan who was the morning star he was cursed you see he was cursed and treated lower than all the angels there was no respect or dignity you see for him before god your brethren you see he was considered as a sinner in a very low state and uh, eat the dust uh, of the life means for death that means there is going to be a destruction for the devil okay there was also the bible says that uh, uh, the devil also shall be destroyed okay now adam and eve when they came out of garden of eden they had this faith that uh, their seed that means their son they will crush the head of the serpent they will destroy the devil and they may go back to garden of eden but none of those things happened during the life of adam so slowly man can forgot first world ended in the flood second world began but though man forgot god did not forget that the promise the same promise god reminded to abraham in a different way that is given to us in genesis 22:16 Genesis 22:16 and said by myself have I sworn said the Lord for because thou has done these things and has not withheld thy son thine only son but I continue but please continue reading that in that in blessings I will bless thee and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is upon the sea shore and thy seed shall possess possess the gate of his enemies mm. you see in thy 18th verse brother huh? and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because thou hast obeyed my voice ah in thy seed what did god told to adam and eve thy seed shall bruise the head of the serpent seed see it's the same here again god is telling to abraham but you see there is a difference there in garden of eden god told huh, the seed will crush the head of the serpent but here god is telling in thy seed i shall bless everybody this seem to be two different uh, actually both are one and the same there it is told in a negative manner here it is told in a positive manner there god told serpent's head shall be crushed and the meaning of it god has clearly explained to abraham saying i will bless everybody that means once 
God has to bless everybody, then definitely Satan has to be crushed. That is a clear meaning which God gave to Abraham. So Abraham had no sons. So at the very old age, who was born? Isaac was born. Once Isaac was born, Abraham thought he is the promised seed. Oh, through him, everybody in this world will be blessed. But did anything happen through Isaac? No. Same promise was again made to Isaac when he was old. Read Genesis 26.4, brother. Genesis 26.4. Joel, brother, can you read? Uh, okay. Okay. Go, brother, read, please. And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven and will give unto thy seed all these countries. And in thy seed shall all the nation of the earth be blessed. blessed. Now, Abraham thought uh, Isaac is the seed. But uh, Isaac uh, promise was made. Then Isaac had two sons. Now you tell me, who, who are the two sons of Isaac? Munaster, who are the two sons of uh, Isaac? Isaac had two sons, no? What is their name? Mm, Jacob. Ah. And his elder brother, what's his name? Mm. Ah? Yes, uh, okay? okay? So, these are two uh, sons. Then... Isaac thought, oh, from Jacob, everybody will be blessed. But nothing happened. The same promise was again, huh? you see, told to Jacob. Read Genesis 28, 13, mother. Genesis 28, 13. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac, the land whereon thou liest. To thee will I give it and to thy seed. Hmm. And hmm. and thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south, and in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Uh, in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. So Jacob thought to you, yo, I am not a seed. But through my sons, uh, the whole world will be blessed. Now you tell me, Jacob had how many sons? Joel, brother, tell me, Jacob had how many sons? How many sons uh, were there to Jacob? Who can tell me? Munna, sister, Romy, sister? Twelve. Very good, sister. Twelve sons. Through the twelve sons of uh, Jacob, the twelve tribes were formed, you see? Now you tell me, now who is the seed among these twelve tribes? Among the twelve sons, who is, from where should the seed come? Abraham. Correct, Abraham, then Isaac, then Jacob. From Jacob's sons, the 12 sons are, you know, say I put the 12 sons' name. Through whom the seed will come now? Which tribe? Which tribe? Judah. Very good, sir. Judah. You see? And uh, read Genesis 49 9. Genesis 49 9. Uh, and ten. Hmm. Romish to read. Um. You can read from the Bible. I don't think verse ten is displayed here. Okay, I'm. I'm just turning it. Fourteen. Forty-nine. Nine. Hmm. Judah is the lion. Hmm. Well. From the um, what was the word? Welp. From the tribe. Mm. My son, thou art gone up. He st st stooped, stooped down. He uh, couch as a lion. As and as an old lion who shall rose, rose him up. Mm. Ten to us. The scepter shall not uh, depart from Judah nor a 
lawgiver from between his feet until the Shiloh come. Mm, until Shiloh come. You know what is the meaning of the word Shiloh? In Hebrew, Shiloh means Prince of Peace. Now you tell me who is the Prince of Peace? Jesus Christ. Very good. Now he is the seed that was supposed to come who was supposed to destroy the devil. Now you may imagine uh, you say Satan is watching from Garden of Eden. Huh? Uh, clean, kindly, carefully listen to this class. Very, very important. Uh. See, from the Garden of Eden, Satan is watching God's each and every words. What did God say? A, ser uh, a seed shall come who shall crush the head of the serpent. That means uh, he cleverly knew, oh, oh, somebody is going to come who is going to kill me. Now, he traced everybody, all the people. Through Adam, nothing happened. Through Abraham, nothing happened. Isaac, Jacob, nothing happened. When God told these words through Jacob, he was very cleverly alert because he came to know who is the seed. Therefore, will uh, Satan keep quiet? Huh? If somebody is going to come to kill uh, or destroy the devil, will the devil keep quiet? Will he keep quiet? Tell me. Uh, he won't keep quiet. Therefore, he made a plan to destroy Israel. How? Because Satan fears this one very much. He fears the seed of the woman. So what did he do? He tried to punish the Israel. He gave punishment through God himself. You see? The people of Israel murmured in the wilderness. So God cursed them. God punished them. He made the people of Israel to do idol worship, move away from God. But God never destroyed Israel. He punished them. Enemies came and attacked Israel. They were taken to captivity. Israel was divided. But Israel was not destroyed. Why? Because that seed was supposed to come through. Mary. Eh? Now, immediately when Gabriel came and told Mary that uh, eh? the seed which is in thy womb is blessed, who became very alert? Who became alert? Eh? Who became alert? Tell me. Satan. Very good. Satan became very alert. Therefore, yeah, you see in the Bible, when Jesus was born, what did Herod do? He killed all the male child. This was actually the plan of the devil to kill Jesus as soon as he was born. But God somehow guided, you see, and Jesus was protected. Even when Jesus fasted after 40 days, he came from the wilderness. You see, he had three temptations from the devil. Now, why did uh, the devil came and tempt uh, Jesus? Uh, he wanted Jesus to do some small mistake. Uh, because one mistake from Jesus, immediately God himself shall destroy Jesus. That is the reason. What did he tell? The first temptation, make this stone as bread and eat. Did Jesus eat? Did yeah. Jesus make uh, that stone as uh, bread? No. Why? Misusing the power of the Holy Spirit for selfishness was not God's will. Therefore, what did Jesus reply? Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. That means you should be obedient to God. Now that you use the Holy Spirit for your own selfishness, that is not God's will. Therefore, dear brethren, Jesus overcame the temptation. You know, so many times the people sought to kill Jesus. There's so many times they tried to stone Jesus. Sir. But what did Jesus do? Huh? What did Jesus do? Let us read Luke 4, chapter 28 and 29. Joel, brother, can you read Luke 4, chapter 28 and 29? Joel, brother, you're all there? Anil, brother, Anu, sister, Joel, brother, everybody are there online? And all they in in sinners, when they heard these things, were filled with 
red and rose of the thrust him out mm. of the city mm. lead him onto the bro mm. of he of the hill whereon mm. their city was built they that they might cast him down ajo yo na they try to push jesus from the hill it seems sir now what did jesus do continue brother ha huh? last what did jesus do but the passing the through the mid midst of them uh-huh. went his away way uh-huh. and came down to capernaum okay thank you brother what did jesus do he passed from midst of them and escaped uh, you see this is what we have to do today so many people when somebody comes to persecute they take all the persecutions if they come in it to they will take all beatings they'll tell oh lord i'm bearing all these things for your name what did jesus do did he take all the beatings huh? what did jesus do here tell me what did jesus do anil brother anu sister tell me what did jesus do Are you sure? Nobody is there. Why? Nobody is there. Why? No yes. response. <laughs> huh? Tell me, Munna sister. Tell me, what did Jesus do here? Did he escape or did he take all the beatings? He escaped. He escaped. Similarly, if there is any persecution coming, we should be very careful and escape. There will come a time where we need to stand. But uh, our role model, our hero, is Jesus. we need to follow his footstep see what did jesus do what did the serpent do serpent try to bite the heel of the seed of the woman what is the seed of the woman do escaped uh, uh, second time again they took all the stones to hit him john 10 chapter 31 and 39 jesus escaped uh, read john 10 39 john 10 39 anil brother can you read john 10 39 Okay, brother. Hmm. John ten thirteen. Eh, thirty one. Thirty nine. Ah. Therefore, they sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hands. Aha! Uh-huh. He escaped out of their hands. See, if you don't cleanly observe, each and every time the serpent uh, came to bite uh, the seed of the woman. Jesus escaped. You see, Jesus escaped. Did you observe all these things? Sir, Jesus never gave himself to die. But suddenly one day, what happened? You see, Jesus was always escaping death. Suddenly one day, he told, "I must die. I must die. I must die. I am going to die." He began to tell all these things. Sir, no, read that verse. Uh, Matthew sixteen twenty one. Anu Anu sister, please read Matthew sixteen twenty one. From that time forth began Jesus to say of to his disciples, how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. Be killed. and raise again the third day now as soon as uh, jesus spoke these words immediately what did peter respond Con- kindly continue sir sister please continue ha huh. 22 also ah uh, 22 you just now read no mm, no 21 okay now continue with 22 then peter took him and began to rebuke him saying be it far from the lord this shall not be unto the the hmm. but he 23 also hmm 23 also but he turned and said unto peter get thee behind me satan thou art an offense unto me for thou savest not the things that be of god but those that be of men ah what did jesus tell peter immediately reacted and told oh no sir no lord you should never die immediately what did jesus uh, call peter as what did jesus call peter tell me i want answers from you tell me what did jesus call peter satan satan is it correct ha huh? pa ha huh? 
poor peter he is telling good only for christ no ha huh? master you should never die but immediately jesus turned and said satan get behind me why because this was not peter who was speaking this was the devil satan who was speaking you know all these days the serpent was trying to bite the seed but he was escaping but suddenly he himself is telling i am going to die immediately satan became very alert oh ho if jesus is telling from his own mouth that i am going to die then something wrong is going to happen if he dies since that day you read in the bible that satan did not allow jesus to die at all immediately jesus recognized this one immediately what did jesus call peter as he told rebuked uh, peter saying get behind me satan you are not uh, this is not the voice of god uh, dear brethren satan is so clever that in the within a seconds uh, he changed his plan and he hugged jesus you know what happened huh? when he was arrested where was jesus taken you see he was taken to pilate's house no what did pilate uh, tell to jesus pilate questioned him so many things sir but did uh, jesus open his mouth did jesus answer any of his question tell no. me no why why did not jesus answer imagine if you were in that position your uh, nepal commissioner if they come and question you please tell me anil brother tell me anu sister tell me what has happened to you they are all arrested you and brought me here you are all supposed to be hanged you please tell me what is the case i will release you huh i will really help you if somebody comes and tells like that to us what will we tell so we will open our heart and tell the entire thing but what did jesus do he never spoke why because pilate's wife had a dream not to kill this man she has told these things to pilate and uh, pilate is questioning jesus tell me speak to me what has happened if jesus would have spoken just few words sir you know everything sir they are all simply blaming me and putting death to me if jesus would have spoken only few words what would pilate told pilate would have told don't speak anything sir i know everything don't worry bring the warrant cancel the warrant release him jesus would have been released if jesus would have been released that day we would not have salvation today that is the reason jesus kept quiet the seed of the woman kept quiet why because it was supposed to be bitten by the serpent even when jesus uh, was on the cross uh, what did the people come and tell huh? if you are the son of man come down from the cross correct huh? did jesus come down from the cross no no why for us only dear brethren therefore satan tried to protect jesus he never allowed to jesus to die but somehow you see god's overing was there you see the serpent bit the you see seed of the woman's feet you see jesus died but what happened jesus rose again the third day correct no jesus rose the third day now you are you all heard the subject no that seed is jesus correct no that seed is jesus let us read a few verses i'll tell you few verses uh, please read uh, hebrews hebrews 2 Hebrews second chapter fourteenth verse read brother please one minute Hebrews one minute two sixteen two sixteen read brother 
Hebrews 2.16, hmm. for verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Hmm. Now is the seed of Abraham. Jesus came as a seed of Abraham. Correct, no? Sir, okay. Now, Satan bit his feet, he died, he rose again. But why did not Jesus, as a seed of woman, crush the devil? Tell me. Why did not Jesus crush the devil? He is a seed of the woman, no? What did God tell to Eve? Your seed shall bruise the head of serpent. Why even today Satan is not destroyed? Tell me. For the end days. For the end days. Okay. Anil brother, Anu sister, what do you say? What is your view? Hmm. Uh, just don't have authority, maybe. <laughs> okay, good. No problem, brother. No problem. Anu sister, good. Anu Magar. What's your thought? Hmm? You don't have any answer. Huh? Tell me. No. Tell me. What do you think you tell me, sister? No problem. We'll see from the scriptures, sister. What do you think? Why Jesus has not crushed the devil even today? Joy brother, tell me. Joel, brother. Okay, Munna, sister. Any, any idea? Any guess? No idea, brother. Okay, no problem. See, this is the main point. Why Jesus has not crushed the devil head today? You know, Satan is also very confused. Correct, no? Eh? Jesus got resurrected 2000 years before. He is already in heaven. Why did he not crush the head of the serpent immediately? Why? You know, dear brethren, this is the great suspense in the Bible. We need to again trace out who is this seed. Who is Christ? Okay. Now you tell me, what is the meaning of Christ in the Bible? See, Jesus got baptized. Correct, no? Huh? Jesus got baptized. Then at baptism, he was anointed with the Holy Spirit. Correct, no? Huh? Now, you tell me, when did Jesus became Christ? When did Jesus become Christ? After dying, dying on the cross. After dying on the cross. Okay, good. So, when the angels came and told to Mother Mary, what did the angels tell to keep the name of the child? What was the name given to the child? At the birth of Jesus. Uh, Jesus. So, when did Jesus become Christ? You see, Jesus became Christ at baptism. You see the scriptures. See, let us read. John, first chapter 41 verse. John 1, 41, brother, please. Gopal, brother, can you read? John 1, 41. Sure, brother. Hmm. He first find it, uh, uh, he first find it his own brother, Simon, and said unto him, we have found the Messiah, which is being uh, in inter interpreted the Christ. Ah, Messiah means what in the Bible? Messiah means Christ. So Christ means Messiah. Now what is the meaning of Messiah? You know, anointed one. When was Jesus anointed? At a baptism. That is the time Jesus became Christ. Until baptism, Jesus was only Jesus. So, you tell me, now God anointed Jesus Huh? Has uh, God anointed anybody else like Jesus with the Holy Spirit? Did you get my question? See, God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit at baptism. But uh, has God anointed anybody else 
similarly like jesus with holy spirit has he tell me uh, mr I, i don't think so okay good you don't think so okay anybody else so have you all taken baptism yes 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 yeah uh, very good so when jesus took baptism what did god give him holy spirit ah similarly when we also take baptism what god gives us holy spirit holy spirit so we also become christ at that time he was jesus christ you are gopal christ got it ha huh? see bible says second corinthians 1 21 22 joel brother can you read second corinthians first chapter 21 22 joel brother you are there yes hmm. second corinthians 1 21 and 22 okay hmm. now he which establish us with you in christ and hath and entered us is god who hath also seal us and hmm. given the honors of the spirit in our hearts he was a god has entered us with the holy spirit correct now now we are also christ let us read galatians 327 brother joel brother please continue reading joel 3 uh, galatians 327 and galatians 329 also for as many of you as have been baptized baptized in into christ have put on christ ah wait brother what brother as many you as of you are baptized into christ you are put on christ aha uh -huh. that means we are christ we are also anointed ones correct no then if we are christ if we are anointed ones you know that is the reason we are called as christians christians means what christ hence anointed ones that is the meaning of christians now if we are christians what is the meaning now read galatians 329 brother and if ye be christ then are we abraham's seed and here according to the promise aha uh -huh. now who is abraham seed brother who is abraham seed isaac ha huh? who is abraham seed what does the verse say jesus jesus huh? christ read that verse again 29 and if ye be christ if you you, if you be christ then you are abraham seed now you means who we i we. yes it is speaking about us if we are christians then that means that we are abraham seed now who is the seed it is not only jesus it is jesus along with the church okay this is a great mystery okay brother kindly understand the seed of the woman is not only jesus along with jesus his body members are the seed of the woman there are few verses in the bible let us read those verses first corinthians 12 chapter everybody please open the bible this is very very important please open the bible first corinthians 12 chapter first corinthians 12 chapter verse 12 please read for as the body is one and hath many members and all the members of that one body being many are one body so mm. also is christ so also is christ body is one but how many members are there eyes are there legs are there hands are there but only one head similarly it is with christ uh, now read verse uh, 27 brother ha huh? now ye are the body of christ hmm. and members in particular now who is the body of christ you we 
we are the body of Christ. That means for this body, Jesus is the head. Read Ephesians, Ephesians 5th chapter. Anil brother, can you read Ephesians 5th chapter? Ephesians 5, 23 brother. Huh? Okay brother, Ephesians 5, 5, 23. 23. FC 523. Hmm. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ in the head of the church. See with that? And he is. Huh? Who is head of the church? Yeah? Christ is the Jesus head of the church. Very good. That means we are all the body members now. Huh? Read verse 30, brother. <laughs> Same chapter, verse 30. Hmm. 30. Huh. For we are members of his body. Uh -huh. Of his flesh and of his bones. Oh, see, we are uh, his members of the body. So we are all uh, joined into Christ's body, brother. Huh? Now read verse 32, brother. Huh? 32. Hmm. This is a great mystery. Uh -huh. But I speak concerning Christ and the church. This is a great mystery. Mystery, mystery means what? Secret. Therefore, if you go and ask any Christians this question, ask them, who is the seed of two men? Who will bruise the head of the serpent? They will immediately tell Jesus. Okay. If Jesus is the head, if Jesus is uh, the seed, then why has he not crushed uh, the devil? None of the Christians can answer from the Bible. The Bible says this is the mystery. Because uh, Jesus Christ means not only one. It is Christ the head and church the body members. Dear brethren. So today the entire body is almost complete. But only the feet is balanced. Huh? Only, what is left over? Only the feet is left over. Now you tell me when the child is born what first comes out from the mother's womb? Tell me, what comes out from the mother's womb? Obviously, head. Huh? Let sisters answer. Gopal brother, wait. Sister, tell me, what first comes out from the womb? Which part of the body comes out from the womb? Head. Head. Very good. Last? Feet. Feet. Head does come out first. Jesus came out first from the death. Then all the body members are complete. What is left over? The feet is left over. We are the feet class saints. Got it? So you tell me. Now what does Satan fear? Who does Satan fear? Tell me. Anil Buddha, tell me. Jesus Christ and his feet. Ah, now Satan fears this feetless saints along with Jesus. You know why? He knows very clearly if the feet is complete, immediately his chapter is closed. Now will Satan keep quiet? Eh? Satan won't keep quiet. Ah, what did God say in the promise? The serpent shall bruise the heel. He shall bite us. You see, how shall uh, Satan bite us? You know, how does the serpent bite? Huh? The serpent, uh, does it bite on the head? Does it bite on the stomach? Where does the serpent bite? On feet. Feet. Uh, because that is the status of devil. He can never come up. You see, he will always be crawling on the ground, worldly things only. He is attached so much to the earth. He is Full wordly. So he can never come up. We are living in the world. The feet is touching the ground. If we live very close to the ground, very close to the world, you know what will the serpent do? He will come and bite us. How will he, how will he come and bite us? You know how the serpent poison works? Huh? Nobody dies immediately. He, the serpent will bite and go away. He will live for many hours. Slow death will come. Similarly, dear brethren, Satan doesn't attack us directly. He is very subtle, very carefully. He will come. You know, he will come. Huh? He will try to draw us 
you see, from the truth. How disturbing our mind. We will be listening to the classes, but uh, along with the class, other things will come to our mind. Satan will keep on putting something in our mind so that the word of God doesn't enter into our mind. Uh, slowly poison he will put. Uh, you know, whenever the class is there, that is the time what will come? Birthday will come. That is the time marriage will come. That is the time all the functions will come. Now what will we decide? We will decide, oh, your birthday is important. It will come only once a year. Your marriage, how can we miss marriage? It's very close friend. Immediately I need to go to the marriage. That is the poison of the devil. Slowly is putting, injecting inside us. Without our knowledge, we will go away from the truth. He will disturb our mind, confuse us. You see, he will make us discouraged. Slowly, what will happen? We will move into the world. That is the poison, dear brethren. It doesn't work out immediately. So God's children has to be very careful because there is nothing for us to fear the devil. You see, every Sunday in the churches, they bind Satan. No? What is the use of binding? Huh? Every in the worship, they all bind Satan. No? Huh? In Nepal, they bind Satan or not? In the, during the worship, do they all bind Satan in Nepal? Are you here? Nobody is reacting. Everybody is listening or not? Yes. Tell me, they are, do they bind Satan in Nepal or not? Yes, they do. They do. Huh? But by evening, how does he come out? Who gives the bell? If he is bound, then how does he come out? Who gives the bell? God's power is so weak. In all the churches they bind, by evening they is released. In all the club, bar, disco, everything, what is there? He is only there. Six days he is on leave. Only when you go to church he is bound. What confusion, dear brethren. How Satan has beautifully put the poison inside the body of Christians, you see. They don't even think also. First of all, they don't even read the Bible. First of all, you should read the Bible. Study the Bible. You see? Huh? How did uh, uh, Satan deceive Eve? He put two questions. Two questions, he deceived Eve. And you know, God will put the same two questions to the devil. You now, which is the question? Huh? Read. First Corinthians 15.55, brother. First Corinthians 15.55. Munna sister, can you read 1 Corinthians 15 55, the two questions? O death, here is thy sitting, O grave, where is thy victory? Ah, o death, where is the sting? Sting means what? Ah? The bite. God will tell. Oh, O death, where is the sting? When everybody are resurrected in the thousand years. When there is no death in this world, now Satan can't answer this question at all. He can't speak. He will keep his mouth shut. He even can't tell lies. No, oh, is there here? No, nothing. Everybody are here in front of you. Where can you tell that? Where is death? There is no death. Oh, grave, where is the victory? When nobody are there in the grave, all the graves will be entry. Sorry, empty. Huh? What can... Uh, they will answer, dear brethren. He can't answer this question at all. Oh, grave, where is the victory? With two questions, Satan deceived Adam and Eve. With the same type of two questions, devil is going to be destroyed. Now read Romans 16.20. Romans 16.20. Joel, brother, read with her. Romans 16.20. Romans 16.20. 20. Hmm. And the God of peace shall be bruised, Satan, under your feet shortly. The uh -huh. grace of uh -huh. our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Uh -huh. but read, read again. Uh -huh. And the God of peace shall bruise, Satan, uh -huh. under your feet shortly. Uh -huh. Under whose feet, brother? Satan. Uh -huh. 
feet are, 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 joel brother uh, if you read like this how uh, uh, read carefully answer me read again and answer me carefully and the god of peace shall brace satan under your feet whose feet your we your feet <laughs> your feet <laughs> whose feet your feet your feet uh, that means our feet uh, both of us feet uh, uh, that means who is going to crush uh, the devil uh? who is going to crush the devil brother we are going to be got it brother joel brother got it ah huh? yeah got it ah so see bible is given for the bible bible is a dictionary shortly very shortly once the church is complete immediately the god of peace shall crush the devil this is what satan is fearing dear brethren so no need for us to fear and bind him okay he fears us is already so far he can never come and touch us also what does the bible say no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper he that touches you touch the apple of my eyes so we should be very careful okay now we got it who is the seed of the woman everybody did everybody come to know who is the seed of the woman jesus christ yes brother yes. yes it is jesus along with the church okay brother so why it is not crushed because the church is not at complete once the church is complete definitely this thing will happen okay so any questions anybody has any any questions anil brother any questions um, no brother uh anu sister any questions no brother okay joel brother no brother you, you got it yeah i got i got it good okay munna sister any questions no brother okay ro minister no questions i will ask one question to gopal if he can't answer then i'll ask you okay 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 Thank okay 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 please roshan roshan is a brother or sister roshani is listening roshani sorry sorry i could not spell it roshani sister any doubt sister doubts any questions no questions okay so you you can understand my english is it okay yes it is fine okay okay thank you so i'll send the notes the uh, gopal will revise the same thing in nepali on saturday any questions please don't hesitate get clarified okay uh,